Since a couple of weeks ago, I got myself the Hyperion. Because of Mage being viable in just about everywhere in Skyblock except for a couple of places, I've been trying to go Mage. And I already have Storm, so Dungeons is covered, but what about outside of Dungeons? What's the best set there? And that is, you guessed it, Aurora. So today, I'm gonna be getting Aurora. Other than that, make sure to like and subscribe, we're almost at a thousand subscribers, which would be absolutely insane. And as well, join the Discord, there's tons of giveaways, carries, if you want to be a carrier, make some money, or just talk to me, it's all there. And now, enjoy the video. Okay, so actually, just before we jump right into it, I just want to lay a couple things straight here. One, no, I'm not Refraction, I'm not getting God Roll, and I'm not getting 10, 10 Attributes. And number two, I probably will only get this set to hot in this video, because uh, I don't have enough Pudra Teeth. But we might be able to get hot 10 star, let's just see how many heavy pearls I have. Alright, so now it's time to buy the Aurora. As I said, I've filtered here for Breeze and Mana Pool, as I said, I'm not going to get God Roll. This is like the best value for money with attributes. So, if I just keep scrolling here, I don't want a helmet, obviously I just need the three pieces because we're going to be using Wither Goggles. But as you can see right here, so lowest bid leggings here is 8 mil. Um, and if I keep scrolling, you'll see that this looks like a pretty good steal here. So I'm going to go ahead and buy these leggings right here. Alright, so as for the chest plate, lowest bin here is 20 mil for 1-1, one, one, which is really not a good deal. But if I scroll one more page, you can see I get 5 and 4 attributes for 2400 for 24 million coins. Uh, which I think is a good deal here, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy that. As for the boots, they seem a bit more expensive. The lowest spin is 20 mil for 2-2. If I scroll one more page, we have 28 mil for Breeze 5 and Mana Pool 4. And then we have 30 mil for Mana Pool 5 and Breeze 4. And however, even though this one is 2 mil cheaper and they're both 4-5 or 5-4, Mana Pool is slightly more expensive to upgrade. So I think I'm just going to go for this, pay 2 mil extra. I think it'll be more cheap, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and buy So we have our two pieces here. I might upgrade the boots and the uh, leggings. I mean the boots and the chest plate, sorry, a little bit more. But let's start with the leggings. So I wanna get this to like four or five or five five. All right, so we got a Breeze 5 Hollow piece here, which doesn't really matter that it's Hollow. It's only three million coins. So either this is a steal or I might've scammed myself with these two pieces. Uh, but let's go ahead and buy them. And we have some Mana Pool 5 Crimson Leggings here, so I'm going to go ahead and buy these. And then here in the Attribute Fusion menu, we can put our Mana Pool, our Aurora Leggings, and our Hollow Leggings together, and we get Breeze 5 on these. And then we do the same thing with our Crimson, and we get Mana Pool. And I'm also going to go ahead and buy these Crimson Boots with Breeze 4 on them to upgrade the boots. As well as this Crimson Chestplate with Mana Pool 4 to upgrade our Chestplate. And there we go, we now have 5-5 five, five attributes on all 3 pieces. Okay, there's a really cheap Breeze 5 Crimson Chestplate. So I'm just gonna take this, we're gonna get Breeze 6 on our Chestplate. As well as Breeze 5 for the leggings. And for the boots, because why not. Okay, now hear me out on this one. I don't think we've spent nearly as much money on this video. So why don't we just go for Mana Pool 6 as well. This is just a great idea. Mana Pool 5, 6 mil for this. You know, this pair of leggings, it would have been really nice to know before I had put Breeze on it. <sighs> Alright, here we go. 6.5 mil for Mana Pool 5 for the leggings. And here we go. The last piece. I'm definitely not going for 7-7 seven, seven attributes. Pair of boots. Mana Pool 5 for 6.9 mil. Let's just go for it. And there we go, finally, 6-6 six, six attributes and all of this. I have no clue if any of this is going to be worth it, but let's start upgrading it. So I'll go into my sacks. Uh, I really hope this 72 heavy pearls is enough. If it's not, we might have an issue here. Uh, but there we go, that's all our heavy pearls and 10 Kudra teeth, which I don't think is enough. Alright, and here we go, we have 10 star Aurora, but sadly, I need 20 more Kudra teeth to prestige this all. So, I'm gonna do a bunch of Kudra runs, and I'll see you back when I have those. Alright, so it's been a few days, and I've finally grinded up all the Kudra teeth I need to upgrade our Aurora. So, we're gonna be doing that right now. I'll put my chest plate in first, and 10 Kudra teeth, a bunch of stuff here, and we can finally turn this into hot. 
there we go, and then we go here for the leggings, bam, and then the boots, bam. And now we have all this hot aurora with some stars on it. And somehow, I didn't even know I had this, but we had enough heavy pearls to turn this into 10 star hot, which I believe from my research is almost better than storm. Uh, let's slap some enchants on this now. And after all of that, we finally have our 10 star hot aurora with all of our enchants on it. Let's go test it out now. Alright, first things first, let's look at our initial stats test. So we have three, around 3.4k intelligence with our storm. And as for EHP, I can't click apparently. Uh, we have around 27k. And if I go ahead and switch to my aurora right here, you can see we have... Done. I'm on the wrong set. Uh, we have around 3.3k intelligence, so it's about like 150 to 200 intelligence, a little bit lower. Uh, and as for EHP, we have 25k, which is pretty decent. Uh, the mana issue is really not going to be something to worry about because we do have breeze on this, so even when we're so when we're not damaged, we can just it'll be much better than storm as for a damage test i'm not entirely sure if this armor actually like besides the wither goggles i don't think any of it affects damage but i could be wrong so with the storm we are doing i think it was 1.5 1.5 1.6 so between one so around 1.6 million damage it looks like and then with our aurora right here we are doing one point you can see that 1.5 1.5 so i think it does affect the damage a little bit but the numbers are really, really tiny, just off the storm stats. Uh, so around 1.5 million damage, which is still pretty good. And obviously, once you end up factoring all of the other benefits of this armor, you'll soon come to know that this is better than storm. As for on the Crimson Isle, uh, everything really seems the same because the damage is the same, the mana is relatively the same. Uh, the Aurora, I'll tell you, definitely does look better, which is a nice thing to see. But, up from like damage and stuff, it looks like it's the same, uh, but due to the fact that we have Breeze on this, I think we're going to use less mana, which will be better. Alright, let's go ahead and test this out against Blade Soul. So, I hope I don't die to this, thank you. Okay, I almost died, yeah, I, I keep skill issuing that part, uh, not jumping at the right time, but... Yeah, our damage seems to be relatively the same. Why am I taking so much damage? That is weird. Uh, I'll just try to stay away from it a little bit. The breeze is not going to be helping here because of the fact that we are getting damaged, but... Okay, there we go. I How did I die there? Oh, the server lag, I jumped over the thing, I don't even know, man. I just hate Hypixel sometimes. Yeah, I'm out of mana, but uh, that's because this is only... It's still not as good as Storm, but it is really close. Once we get it to burning, it'll be better. And there we go. Uh, nothing good from Blade Soul, which is not always the greatest to see. But uh, yeah, that was pretty decent. Now let's do the Mage Outlaw. Yeah, it seems to be relatively similar when it comes to... What the hell was that lag back? But as I was saying, the damage and stuff seems to be relatively similar. Uh, I am out of mana, which is not good, but I have Breeze activated now, which is pretty good. Not anymore, at least. Uh, yeah, mana seems to be, I don't know, it seems a little bit lower. Or maybe I'm just, I don't know. Um... I mean, obviously the Breeze isn't working right now, but... It's really not too, too terrible. Uh, I'll just probably grind up some Kudra with this and uh, get it to burning. And nothing good from Mage Outlaw either. Sad, but obviously it's pretty decent. Alright, so we're now going to test this out on carrying some E-Man bosses. Um, let's just tell this is going to spawn, so let's just see how it goes. So, I'll just go ahead and do this. Its phase is going to be relatively the same, because I'm not really using mana for it. Okay, wow, I had like a thousand mana left at the end of that hits phase. I usually don't have that much. Uh, Breeze is doing a lot here.
Yeah, Breeze is actually doing an insane amount here. I'll take a pause for a second. We do this. Uh, looks like a TP'd. Okay, this is kind of annoying. Can I just do this? Okay, this is... Okay, that was insanely scoffed, but that's not even related to the armor, so... I mean, yeah, I reached in a ton of mana there, but as you saw, Breeze was actually just doing an insane amount. Alright, that was crazy scoffed, but that was kind of funny at the same time. Um, but yeah, Aurora's pretty good. Alright, next we're gonna test Aurora out in its basically, I would say, natural habitat, which is Kudra. So, uh, let's just go with it. Uh, supplies is gonna be, like, literally the same thing, cause it's just supplies. Uh, but yeah. Okay, I'm starting to get attacked by some mobs, uh, but the EHP is holding up. These throws are being so annoying. But yeah, I'm noticing similar health between the storm and the aurora. Yeah, and it's doing really well when uh, for cloud for cloud controlling as well. Uh, but yeah, ain't no way Ellie just said bro in the chat. That's crazy, bro. Nice, someone. Oh wait. Hold yeah, someone just skill issued by firing the ballista early. That's nice. There we go. After that minor skill issue by someone, uh, finally got it done. So the Aurora, I think, held up really well against Kudra. Um, yeah, the mana was like pretty good. Uh, the EHP wasn't too too terrible. Um, overall, having the fact that we can upgrade this more, it seems pretty good. Yeah, overall I'm pretty pleased with Sarmer set, judging the fact that this is just the beginning and we're gonna upgrade it more. If you guys do want to see Kudra content in the future, please make sure to let me down in the uh, comments below. But uh, yeah, it's a great way just to let me know if you guys what you guys want for content. Uh, but I think we'll wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, which would be absolutely insane. And I'll be doing a special Q&A at that time. Other than that, join the Discord. There's carries. What if you just want to talk to me? Giveaways always. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.